Hello and welcome to this video tutorial on creating perforated metal materials in Rhino 7. Now I'm going to be using this geometry I've selected here and we're going to just isolate this using the isolate objects tab up here just so we can just work on this material in isolation for now. Now I want to make this white surface at the top here a perforated metal material sort of matching the colour and consistency of the previous metal we made in the last video. So I'm going to make a copy of that last material just by right clicking and going copy and then we'll go right click and paste to paste it in and we'll just call this metal perforation here. Now we'll select our new object which we want to apply this perforation to, we'll right click on our material and assign it to the object there. Now always make sure that you texture map this on once you've applied it so we'll apply a box mapping. I'm going to just start by drawing out a box for this mapping and we might adjust the scale later. So you can see there that that material is now mapped on. Now to apply perforations to this material you could do it via modelling. So you could go and model lots of little holes if we wanted sort of tiny little holes across the surface of this material. But you can also do it in the material itself. And that's what we're going to look at in this tutorial. So just by Going back to our materials tab, under our metal perforations, we're going to go to the detailed settings here and we're going to apply an opacity map. Now this controls the see-throughness of the object. Now by default it will apply an opacity amount of 0.2 which is almost like a glass, like a see-through glass material. And we don't want that in there so we're going to put that back to a 1 so it's a solid object again. You can see it update in the preview. And then in the alpha channel here, we're going to actually apply a map to this alpha channel to give us these little perforations, these little holes in the surface of our material. So if we click to assign texture, and I'm going to use this texture here, which is essentially a black and white image. And wherever the image is black, it's going to cut a hole out of our object. And wherever it's white, it's going to leave it solid there. And this is just for the render. It's not going to physically cut the hole out in the model, but it's when you render it, it will appear as if that hole has been cut. So we'll apply that in, and you'll see there it will now update in the preview. And we can also see that our mapping is very, very large for this. So I'm now going to go back and adjust my mapping scale under the properties, under texture mapping, and in this XYZ size, I'm just going to put this down to one by one by one. So we've got a small perforations there. And you can see there that it's essentially cut these small holes out of the surface of our material there. So with that applied, we'll select the objects. I'm going to unisolate them just by right clicking on that tab. And we'll just do a render preview of this to see how this is looking in the render. And we'll can zoom in slightly so we can get a good view of this object. And here you can see this is now rendering out and we've essentially got this surface with lots of tiny little perforations and holes cut out in there. And depending on the map you apply you can do different types of cutouts if you want. I've just got a simple sort of black circles across that texture but you could change it. Any black and white map will have this effect of cutting out and applying these sort of cutouts to your objects. And this doesn't have to be for metallic materials, you can also do this for any other material type as well. So that was just a quick tutorial in controlling perforations on a material using the alpha channel in that material settings. Thank you for watching. 